Okay guys, how you doing out there? My name is Kenneth Bird. I'm the creator of Crystal H Technology Projection Screens using Smart Technology Gain. Also the inventor of the Fusion Silver and Fusion Black Projection Screens. And coming out this summer, our new project, Future Tech 4K. Cannot wait for that screen to actually drop. Okay guys, today we're gonna to be talking about proper testing um, on your projection screens or screen paint. Now here's the thing. When we first minute we start designing our screen paints or projection screens, those screens are literally hit with 100 to 200 to 300 watts of light. Um, I get, I actually, someone was actually making a joke about why do I hit my screens with so much light? And that's the reason why is because you would want a screen in your home that can take on that much ambient light because here's the thing. A lot of people today are replacing their TVs with projectors and they do not want to be in a dark environment. They don't want to be in a dim environment. They want to be in a fully lit environment they want their living room to look like their living room now it's okay yeah if you're gonna have the, um, the lights out for movie time all good and well but you know my wife comes down she's doing her crossword puzzles she's reading her book uh, she wants to be to do this in a well-lit environment and I want to be to watch my Saturday Night Live in a well-lit environment without turning out the lights to just accommodate the screen that's another thing people go through when they go through ambient light controlled environment which means you have to go over and you have to diddle with the lights to get this setting just right to accommodate the screen or the screen will suffer from being washed out becoming faded and I'll tell you something one color fades faster than any other color and that's blue blue fades pretty bad when the light hits it so it becomes a bit of a kind of brownish or light tannish kind of color it fades very very fast all right so what I want to say to those of you out there who feel the need to ridicule me because I do these rigorous tests I may ask you a question would you go out and would you buy a car knowing that everything on that car has been tested except for the brakes? The brakes have been tested 50-50. So there's a 50% chance they will work and they will not work. Would you still purchase that vehicle knowing that your friends and family who sit in that vehicle with you and you yourself, you don't know whether or not if your brakes may work or may not work because they have not been properly tested. So would you still buy the vehicle? I don't think you would. I really don't think you would. If you knew that your, your seat belts or your airbag or anything in that vehicle did not work properly, you would not get in that vehicle. You would not make that investment. This goes for also your washer and dryer, your refrigerator, your smoke detector. Everything you have in your environment has gone through some form of vigorous testing. And this is why I do these demonstrations with the 500 watt bar light with all the lights hitting the screen. So, you know, those of you may joke about this, but you have to consider the fact that the things you depend on you're like going into your refrigerator every day that if you come downstairs and you have water all over the place because your refrigerator basically tried to defrost itself and you had your all your food goes bad all the money you spent on food goes bad you're gonna be pretty upset and if you find out hey look well the guy who designed this refrigerator really didn't do proper testing it was like a 50 50 you're gonna be ticked. So that's the reason why I do all this testing. All right, so right now we had the 500 watt bar light in the middle of the screen. I really don't have to do much to any testing. We've done that already. Um, before I actually put a screen out in the market, if you look through my archives, it starts off small. I start hitting it with tons of ambient light. I'll start testing against other high performance screens like the Supernova or the Elite screens or you know, uh, Firehawk G4 or Seymour AV to show that the screen does have a better screen quality um, picture quality than the top screens on the market you know I do all these tests but when you see people doing these demonstrations on their on their screens the area is always either ambient light environment uh, dim like a dungeon kind of dim look to it or it's dark and you really are not going to be to see the performance of your screen in a pitch black dark environment it has to be well lit just because you have a few lights here and there it doesn't help. You have to show a well lit environment. As you can see, this environment is well lit. So let me come over here and hit the lights. Okay. And let's start this right now. So you guys can see this for yourself. Let's see how amazing that looks with the 500 watt bar light right in the center of the screen. Look at that. That looks absolutely gorgeous. Let me show you also too some of the things I did. In my theater room added some background lights to match in. 
makes the screen look absolutely incredible. The theater room looks absolutely incredible. Now, mind you too, guys, with our kits, you get a free blackout cloth surface, which means that um, if you can't paint on your wall because you rent, it does come with a surface that is nine feet by 12 feet wide. It does come with free neon lights. So you can set everything up like this, pretty cool, huh? And it comes with the rollers and replacement rollers, but some come with the rollers and placement rollers. They come with frog tape, they come with the drop cloth, they come with everything you need to get your kit off the ground. Now, I know someone's probably thinking right now, Ken, you're a freaking hypocrite because you just got finished doing this long speech on people who don't do their screens and well-lit environments. And here you are, you had the lights up, but you have the 500 watt bar light. That's not fair. It's not fair. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna turn my lights on. So now I have my lights on. As I told you, remember I told you about the color blue? The color blue fades very fast when it's being hit with a ton of ambient light. Now look at this. Lights are on. Now see, here's one of the things you have to look at. When someone's doing a demonstration on a, a hundred inch screen, right? There is a hundred inch screen. It's gonna take some light, like I said, some light, but not as much light as a screen that's eight feet high. Now, a hundred inch screen is by about four feet high. Some are five, but I see them as four feet high. A hundred inch screen, my screen is eight feet high, which means it is in direct line with the um, ceiling lamp. And the ceiling lamp is hitting the screen directly. And that's what a lot of people don't realize. Now, the professionals, I hate to say, I'm not gonna say everybody's, everybody's not a professional, but People who are more observant, of, more watchful of seeing certain things, notice that, hey, look at the height of the screen being eight feet, and look at the overhead light that's actually in direct um, align with the screen. Now, let's go over here real quick. We'll do the angle gain. I love doing the angle gain. That's my favorite part. Come back here. I'm gonna trip her in there. I have two large projection screens on the floor. So we'll come back here all the way to the very back. In my in my dining room and you can see the screen all the way back here get down on the floor on my knee tell me what you see fully that I can go anywhere in this house and I can still nail that screen that's how fantastic the gain is on that screen that's how amazing the angle gain is on that screen look at this I'm in the kitchen what's the bumping in stuff in the kitchen, here I am in my kitchen. And you can still see my screen. Now see, this is what I'm talking about. I have a screen that has been tested. Because like I said, I hate to put anybody down, but people who do demonstrations in dark environments, 90% of the time, that screen will not withstand this kind of, this kind of lighting in my environment. It won't, it won't hold up. Right behind my chair right now. Right my, my chair. Anywhere I stand in here. Full lit room, plenty of light. Look at my screen. Okay guys, I'm Kenneth Burr from Crystal Edge Technology Projection Screens using Smart Technology Gain. I kinda like this little corner back here. <laughs> I like the way the camera angle hits. Using Smart Technology Gain, hope you guys enjoyed this video demonstration. Just to show you that basically our screens are properly tested. Like I said, fully lit environment. I'm sitting back here on a uh, on close to about 200 inch screen and my screen looks absolutely incredible with the lights on. And you don't have to worry about any ambient light controlled environments. You don't have to worry about if your screen is going to fade out because you have the lights on or the colors are going to fade. You don't have to worry about the, uh, the walls because people say white walls produce more light. You don't have to worry about any about that. And just to tell you real quick, my projector right here on the floor, my NEC short throw, this is my um, um, LCD projector, um, has never, ever been calibrated. Never calibrated my projector. Absolutely beautiful. All right, guys. Thank you all for watching.